And welcome back, guys, to episode 9 of Tower of God. Now, thanks to Kun's little devious plan, Bomb's team is currently participating in our little game of tag. I personally think a lot is going to go down this episode, especially with the way we ended with Ho's character, with him saying, like, no hard feelings, no matter what happens, something along those lines. So I'm definitely excited to see what will go down. So without further ado, let us get into things. If you guys want to synchronize your video, I'll be starting at a minute and 38 seconds, or else I'll be starting the video in 3, 2, one, go. Oh yeah, we ended up with Indoshi kicking the shit out of the guy, which was like, nani desu ka? A home of fallen nobles. They adopted talented girls and made them compete against one another. Oof. Oh, that's harsh. God, stay on bread. Oh. Ooh. Damn, the way they animated this. She got to eat all the food herself. <gasps> oh! Oh, fuck! You're spoiling that adorable face. To take out all the bees fishermen. Ah. Oh. I mean, she's kind of doing everything she can to pass and like I, I can see her way of survival like the reason why behind it I mean come on guys she can beat up Anak I'll finish her off while you do that In order to climb the tower with her, if you're prepared to do that palm, then go to Rachel. Oh wait, so she kind of actually... I doubt something simple as that would get him, but we'll see, I mean... A boy's pretty strong, but that said that Anok was no match for him either, the ranker. Oh, this boy, every time he's just like, peek-a-boo. Oh, we, yep, that was short-lived. Why do I feel like he's about to stab her in the back? Oh, no. <laughs> Freaking rock. Good morning. He's pissed off. It was. It was a really crushing defeat. It looks like that plan absolutely failed. Oof. Things are getting up, like really dark, especially with the way we ended with last week's episode as well. I think they're really, yeah, I think they're really emphasizing the fact that the climbing of the tower is absolutely brutal. Like the road ahead is not this kind of fun friendship journey we've had so far. Oof. 
You have to do it in order to get what you want. Oh, he's been charging up this whole time. What's your ignition? Ooh, damn. That could have came out of nowhere. This is getting so good. No, we're about to stabby stabby you in the dark. Stabby stabby. Oh, was that a. Oh, yes, that was. Oh, no. Oh, my boy. I'm a dad. Once they grab on. <gasps> oh my god, they fucking ditched you. You're a team of traitors. That's so true. But they deserve it. Oh fuck, I don't know though, because it's like, technically Indushi did the same thing as well, but like, just because they get a background story doesn't mean that it's alright. Like, aren't they technically doing the same thing? <gasps> oh, oh, why are you such a naive and a protective boy? I knew you were in league together, you little fuckers. There is so much betrayal going on. This is such... It's a letter from you? Yeah, it is from you. The fuck? It said that if I got rid of you, Bam would also go away. Oh, please wait, test director. The fuck? Oh. Team B is so fucked, but I'm loving this contrast between how Team A did and how Team B did. It's so weird. Okay, so Rachel wasn't the one that sent the letter then, because obviously she's not going to write, oh, kill me. Cause... No, Palm's just one of those people that just... Can't do a single mean thing. I can't betray or trick people to climb the tower. I don't know. I feel like... Maybe she doesn't need protecting. Oh, baby boy bomb. I mean, we got to remember that Rachel passed the um test along with Endoshi as well as the silent guy. So she's not she's not an, a weak person at all, I don't think. I feel like Endoshi is kind of actually supporting Rachel and Palm to like work together. Oh, this hoe. Be a real hoe. But I do understand that he has his reasons. No matter what. Oh, hello, Ranka. What he said was true. Someone was testing you. He must have sent the letter. Maybe it was that, um, you know, the guy in the nice, like, kind of humble. Crap. 
Quit ignoring me to chase that bird. He hates your guts. Yeah, the letter. I thought the letter was. I thought the letter was like a test, a setup. Oh, by her? Oh no, I'm thinking it's him. This is all your fault. It's your fault for showing off your power. <gasps> Maybe it's to the fact that he's like another worlder. Oh, this beat is so sick. Oh, oh, mm, I don't know. Palmer's really bad aim. Oh, that was quick lived. The f he put you in Sinchu? Yeah, I poured Sinchu into your body. Oh my god, is it like water blending? Blood bending? I think he just told him something there. I think he maybe told him the same. I think Palm will be able to replicate the exact same move that just went down. Why is he feeling the same pain that Rachel can? <gasps> wow! Palm did the exact same thing instantaneously. Fuck, he is OP. Yeah, he just copied a ranker's technique, guys. Maybe Rachel isn't a sus bitch as I thought she was. That must be Rachel's powers, maybe. Oh my gosh, she gonna die? No. Who knows something? It's in regards to the powers, I feel. You follow the to the tower, don't you? But the tower chose you. I'm sorry, sweetie, but you were never friends. All excuses I have for you. I kind of sympathize with her. Yeah, because I don't have the strength you or Lada do. I don't think he was able to protect that that flashback. Why were you the only one left? It looks like they were harvesting their horns. I think Ho just has nothing left and that's why he's so desperate to climb. The tower. Whoa, 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 whoa. The, no. Wait, are you fucking with me? Her, you, why can't you continue? Uh, 
wow, this this anime just did this. They actually killed off a character in episode nine. Oh shit. What is going down? Just like there is something fucked up going on. I love how she took the guy's sword. Why is she here? She's it. You came to capture me instead of heading to the exit? Sure, I guess we can take. She's about to bitch slap you hard. Oh. This episode is just traitor, 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 traitor. Obasa. I think we want to end this game so we can, you know, medical procedure on Rachel. <laughs> but I found someone I want to climb with. <gasps> oh! Oh my god, Anna just opening up to a sweetie just... Oh. And there's a. If you keep passing the test. Maybe. Rachel genuinely cares about Palm and she knows the hardships that are about to come through Khan in the tower and that's why she wants to keep Palm just away from everything. I don't Is that the badge? He like <gasps> Yes my boy yes Shouldn't have told him that Well Bum is hella OP though Just to be This is so brutal. I always regret things once they're taken from me. Oh, this doesn't make... Does Palm have a plan? There's epic character development, there's epic fighting. Oh, he just ripped it off you. Maybe my heart wouldn't feel so empty right now. You could have been a great man. I think so as well. What is happening? I think she's belittling you. We're clutching my panties. Nani? I told you it wasn't the badge. 
And your badge is... <gasps> oh my god, sweetie. That is... that. Is, oh my god, this is perfect. I love how he's just like holding the patties. I honestly think Kun was too nervous to look the whole entire time. So I think he just slept through it. Tried to sleep through it, but wasn't actually asleep. Oh my god, where do I honestly start with this episode? Like, just, oh shit, honestly. I really like the overall theme of just, like, betrayal that went down this episode. Like, they really emphasized that, like, everyone said traitor, like, every few seconds because there were so many traitors going on, so many betrayals going on, so much backstabbing going on. But I can really sympathize with all our characters, though, and I think that's what makes it ever so more hard and, like, kind of messed up. Everyone has a reason for wanting to survive, everyone has a reason for wanting to climb the tower, and I think everyone is willing to do whatever they need to do to climb the tower and I think that's why Ho's character was such a good character. I wonder if they named him Ho just so we could be like this is why you never trust a Ho but anyways on the serious note I honestly think Ho's character was done brilliantly because he is a truly weak character that is trying to climb the tower but has nothing left and that's why he's willing to do anything because of his desperation as a character. I'm really sad his character has gone I did not expect them to kill off a character into episode 9 so a character that we've honestly been building up for quite a while but what I appreciate about Ho's character is truly seeing the darkness within one's soul because I think a lot of like Jonin kind of mangas or like just characters you see them like go through a hardship but they're just like oh power friendship or like power something and they're so easily able to overcome it but with Ho's character I think him just seeing the comparison of people around him like Lore and Palm he just looks at them and goes like if I was as strong as them if I was naturally gifted as them could I have stopped what happened that day I think and I think that just absolutely consumed his soul that kind of jealousy as well as the fact that he was weak like that really consumed him and that's why when he was put to the test I think it was one of the administrators or rankers that put him to the test with that little no I thought it was um Rachel at first but obviously that's not the case because he needed to stab Rachel to get what he wanted but it has to be someone that actually knows about what he kind of went through so I think it's definitely someone higher up kind of pulling the strings and putting Ho to the test like it was definitely a setup to see how everything would play out we honestly had so many great character moments I can't believe they're able to jam pack so much like amazing kind of character moments I think it's like the detail and the dialogue every words they say you can really kind of see what they're thinking what they're going through and that gives you a really deeper understanding of our characters especially I like that kind of scene we had with um I forgot her name but I'll call her lady the one who bitch slapped um, and so she it was really touching how she kind of that kind of like crouching next to um her well palm and and she were fighting it out and she was talking about like I wish I could kind of fight like that I always just like regret it after everything is taken from me so I think she's also a potentially great character to explore and very relatable also to kind of what she's gone through especially with a flashback in last week's episode but the one I appreciated the most was honestly and she I love the fact that it tied in so nicely with Anat's background story because when we kind of had that face down between that Anat background story as well as Indoshi. I thought Indoshi wouldn't be able to relate to kind of the feelings that Anak has gone through but you can see that they have now become true I think sisters. Not like Jahad princess like siblings but actual kind of like sisters because Indoshi herself has gone through quite the climb in her life to get to where she is so I think she knows the pain and suffering that both of them have kind of gone through and that's why I think you can see when she said I now have someone I want to climb the tower with that was the most touching moment to me in this episode because I absolutely love Anak's character and I love Indoshi his character as well oh and before I forget why did that silent gigantic guy disappear when Rachel got stabbed as well I'm kind of thinking that that is Rachel's kind of maybe sinju power because the moment Rachel got stabbed that guy kind of flinched up on like where she got stabbed so they must be linked by something and I'm thinking since he completely disappeared that has to do with like maybe Rachel's controlling of power not to show on that aspect but was indeed a twist I did not see coming at all yeah I think this was by far one of my most favorite episodes it was just jam-packed with like characters, betrayal, action, like impactful dialogue. It was honestly just a brilliant episode and I can't wait to see what more they have planned for us because this has been such a crazy journey. So until next week make sure you guys stay awesome and I'll definitely catch you guys for episode 10 of Tower of God.